Hey, it's Chris Duncan here, founder of Conscious Education and the Magnetic Mind Method. I want to show you something amazing today. This is a live demonstration of the Superconscious Recode process filmed in one of our uh, Magnetic Mind uh, quarterly events. The Superconscious Recode allows a person to open up to an aspect of them that we've defined as the Superconscious. When you connect to it, you can change or recode any instructions in the unified field that have lasting, profound change. We've had people use this process to regain their eyesight, recover from diabetes, and a range of other amazing health transformations. When you learn that you are super conscious and not limited, you can simply connect to it and others can connect with you to make amazing shifts. It's not hypnosis, it's not trance, yet it is absolutely profound. You are not broken, you are super conscious. So sit back and watch this amazing, uh, just amazing demonstration with myself and, uh, and Dr. Donna. Dr. Donna Morgan, let's see where you are. Let's get a visual on you. Are you the right person? I've got you, I've got a couple others. Where is she? There she is. All right, yes, we're gonna to work together. We're gonna to work together, okay. Let me ask to unmute. Okay, so lots of lots of good people putting their uh, hand up. Thank you. Uh, Donna, Dr. Donna, are you able to unmute? I did. Oh, you did. There you are. Hi. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hi. 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 So let me... Uh... Just get this set up. So whereabouts are uh, whereabouts are you? You're in the I'm, states, I'm obviously. North Carolina. Ah, the Tar Heels. Yeah, the Tar Heels. You got it. <laughs> Michael Jordan's uh, team. You're up there with uh, Charlotte Hornets area. Yeah, just so everyone in the United States knows, I, I have a map of um, NCAA basketball teams and NBA teams, and that's how I pick where people where I know where people are from. <laughs> so my North Carolina, oh, you know, that's Duke and uh, the Tar Heels. Okay, so can you guys all see me and see see Donna? Is that is that what's happening? You can't see me anymore. I thought that's what had happened. Um, I can I can see you. Yeah, yeah. Can everyone see me? I just want to get it so that you guys can uh, should be able to see both of us. Uh, so while I'm doing this, what sort of doctor are you? Psychologist. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Uh, spotlight for everyone. Awesome. And um, what brought you to this work? I've been through a couple of your classes before, and yeah. I, I, it, th those were teasers. Let's put it that way. And today, I just decided, okay, let's go. I got a couple hours. <laughs> Very I'll, cool. I'll just sit and listen. Very cool. All right, I think we've got both of us on there now. I figured it out. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, Donna through a session, and I want all of you to please uh, choose to get the most out of this. There's aspects of you that need to watch someone else to go through a session to truly grasp what's going to happen. Does that sound good? Does that sound good? So, so please know I'm not just doing this because I want to. I want to. It's very important for your brain to see it. Okay, won't, won't take very long. So the first thing we do, step number one, uh, uh, Donna, what, what is a, a choice or an end result you would really like to create? That haven't, they I haven't re been? I'm wanting to reopen my business and um, have the, <laughs> it's funny because now I have to question them, uh, the courses, and um, uh, coaching, um, I, I do coaching uh, with retirees. And this is a new chapter for, for us, have not been here and done that yet. And so I kind of want to serve as a paradigm to this large population 
to show what I'm doing at my age now that, you know, entices them to say, well, maybe if she can do that, I can do that too. So it's playing into a lot of what you were, have been describing here. And, so, I, but now my question is, you know, well, maybe I shouldn't be doing courses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so what we wanna do, and this is important for everyone to hear, you must, you must get a clear end result to, to, to choose. So at the moment, at the moment, what's obvious, as soon as I ask the question, um, what pops up into the reality is I'm not good enough. Uh, I need to learn more stuff. Um, I want to do this thing. I want to reopen it, but, uh, but mine's, I'm not good enough the way I am. And I it's already got this sense. Well, now I've learned this stuff from Chris. It, that's just, that's feeding the doubt that's there. Yeah. So, but, but what's interesting is the, the only question I asked was, what is it that you want to create? You see, so th then this is what will happen to all of us. As soon as we ask it, our identity is popping up all these little things. And because I'm intuitive and, and it's, I've done this work a lot, I, sure. I, know what's, I know what's there for you. So you're probably very, very smart. You probably got loads of courses that you've done and you give your power to other people's courses and knowledge. And you probably can go, Chris, look at all my certificates and things I've done long before you were even born, mate. You know, you know, yeah. look at all of this. I've been doing this longer than you alive. <laughs> you know, and that's true. It's all true. It's all true. So what we want to do is we want to we want to get a clear end result. Okay, so we'll start again. So what would you just love to create? Just what would you choose without limitation, without bringing in the past? Just just what would you choose? Okay, I got it. <clears throat> I I want the semi-retirement lifestyle that allows me to thoroughly enjoy semi-retirement, but I'm also making a major contribution um, with this group of retirees that have never experienced what I have to bring to them. Yeah, that'll work. Yep. Yep. Good. I can Good. see so, that as being possible. It is. What one of the uh, uh, while you grab your air, AirPod. What yep. one of the uh, one of the core four choices is I choose a life I love. So one of our yep. four orienting choices is I choose a life I love. The others are health and vitality to live my true nature and purpose and to be the predominant creative force. I've got some of my um, certified coaches on here. Uh, certified coach, could someone type those in for, for everyone else? I know that there's a few of you here. I've seen, seen some names, if you wouldn't mind doing that. Okay, so, so that's what we're gonna choose. Okay, we're gonna choose this, this life you love, this, this, uh, this semi-retirement lifestyle, you're impacting people, you're enjoying life, you're, and, and you choose that. Okay, so, so what we do is step two is we're going to create an energetic imprint or a, a focus point by closing our eyes and experiencing it done, saying this is what we're going to choose to create. What this does is sets up the end of the river so then we can experience, you know, well, what's in the way of that choice, okay? So two things can happen. You can be able to go there and feel good about it or you try to go there and have it and, and challenges can be present, okay? But we'll do it together. I'll, I'll choose it with okay. you. So, so just close, close your eyes and just choose that. I choose the end result of a life I love, a semi-retirement lifestyle impacting people. Notice how it feels. Witness yourself doing it, just notice it, feel it. Mm. Perfect. Oh, it feels so good. You can open your eyes and come back. You know what? What I really get from you is, uh, is, is I see you in front of a group. You know, with uh, 
with a board, but you've got to, you, you're like me, you, you can laugh at nothing. <laughs> I see you just giggling and having the best time and, and really being the example. <laughs> Um, very cool. Okay. It's important whenever we do this work, everyone, we must always get into a creative structure first. It's just perfect. And, and that's then, then we're not solving a problem. We're creating that. And I know that it sounds trivial to many. They say, well, but it's not. When we, when we choose the life we create and we feel it, the next thing is we must now, so step three, is now that we've chosen where we're going, we're going to acknowledge where we are now, okay? And this is, this is the difference, okay, between this is the shooting star and I'm the tail of that comet, the tail of that star, versus I'm the shooting star and I'm going to try to push myself forward. So we, we must start at the end point, but now we acknowledge the now. We do it energetically. Everything is created with poles. One of the big mistakes that people make in creation is they go into the end result that they want to create, but they never allow themselves to become fluent in the now. Okay. If someone wants to create a masterpiece painting, they must acknowledge that they have a blank piece of paper, right? And then they can move forward. The, uh, you know, time doesn't, people say, Chris, time doesn't exist. Time is just a measurement device between two points. And so in order for us to set up a tension seeking resolution structure, which is a, a big word for we're going to take the path of least resistance, we must set up the path. Okay. So by the way, how did it feel to step into that reality? Oh, I loved it. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> super. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, so now what we do, so step three, before we do recode, is I want you to just acknowledge the now. You can do it eyes open or eyes closed, um, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it closed. It's just compared to what I'm creating, where am I now? And, uh, and just experience it, step into the now. Good. So whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Okay. What's, uh, what's in your now is you're trying to work it all out. You know, what I get in the now is uh, there's, there's lots of things. You're very much in your brain. You live in your brain. And you you want to you want to you want to know all the micro p how's it how da, 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 because there's there's a there's quite a there's quite a fear unconsciously that if I don't work it out, I might screw it up. Uh, if I don't work it out, if I don't get planned, if I don't get it right, uh, then, then I might screw it up. Um, but then there's also a huge sense of excitement, like a huge sense of excitement, a new journey. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's what I see anyway. And, and, and when we coach one-on-one, -on -one, um, the person already knows what they know. But when someone else says it that doesn't know them, because Donna and I have never met, when someone else says it and they go, oh, yeah, that's true, it helps to reconfirm what is actually there and true for them. Okay. So, uh, so very cool. Very cool. Okay. How do you feel about the now? I'm present to it. I, I, I can see the trappings within it. And, um, but I also, I'm, I'm kind of future oriented, so I can see that, okay, I guess I'm going to be leaving a lot of this behind. <laughs> and I, I have a real strong desire to just keep moving forward. So what's in the way of this creation? You want that you're here. What what's in the way? So so what emotion? A pattern. Oh, oh yeah. What pattern? The pattern has been um, going back to proving myself over and over uh, yep. ever since childhood. Yeah, I was the good student. I you know achieved a lot yeah. along the way, and I got all the you know kudos for a lot of it, but. It, it doesn't completely fulfill 
what I know I'm still here to do. Yeah. I'm still on the top side of the grass. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not done yet. Yeah. The, um, the I'm not good enough wound is, is my, uh, my most fluent one for myself. I, I represented New Zealand playing basketball. Then I became a DJ, ended up playing in front of 20,000 people, got a university degree in there some, somehow, built multiple multi-million dollar companies, traveled the world, ended up in movies with people I respected and just kept on achieving and achieving and achieving. Yeah. And none of it was for me. None of it was for me. It was because my whole life, I, I, I only way I got validated was by, by achievement. And so yeah. each, each goal would be a hollow victory. So I, I know that, that identity. I do know it. I do know it. And many people see your success and they go, well, look at all these things. Okay, so, so what else? So the pattern is in the way. Uh, of going out there and, and creating it. Uh, what, what judgments do you feel you have about yourself when it comes to, to this goal? I think it's, um, I'm, first I have this shiny squirrel syndrome. You know, yeah. everything looks good. <laughs> yeah. and, and a lot of it is, and I respect the work and, and um, the people that are, I, I connect with. But it's like, okay, I keep thinking this will be the last one. This will be the last course. This will be the last book, speech, whatever it is. And, yeah. um, and it never is. It never is. And um, what, what it goes drive, on and on. What mm -hmm. drives that need of always needing to find someone else's work? It's kind of a mixed thing. I do appreciate um, value. I, I appreciate um, people's efforts. That's why I'm a good coach. It's, yep. it's like, you know, I can pull that out of people easily because I really do appreciate it in them and I see it. And I, you know, it's sort of like, yet I still haven't completely believed it in myself. Correct. Correct. So, so what stops you believing in yourself? Well, I guess that would go to the lifestyle. I still, as a professional, have not attained yet. And um, because, because I what thought would I'd be farther if, along. Hmm? Because what would happen if you were to attain it? Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll let that sit in the field. We'll do recode now. But, okay. but the, for everyone, your identity can never complete end results that are in opposition to the way it is, because then it would no longer exist. So if I'm not good enough, and then I set up all these goals to prove that I'm good enough, I can never actually finally reach the one that would then have to acknowledge that I was finally good enough because then the aspect of me that's believing that and living that way would no longer be valid. Does that make sense, everyone? And so, so you'll, you'll have to keep chasing it your whole life because that's what the identity is structured with, you see? And so it's, um, anyway, it, it's nice, nice to, it's nice to see it, you know? You see it because once you see it, it's like, a, it's like you know, those uh, Dracula movies? And they open the curtains and the light comes out. And as soon as the light's on the Dracula, the Dracula's like vanished into nothingness. Well, that's kind of like this. Once you see it, it's like. Whew, that's good. Is, good analogy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So so you've never done Recode before, I don't think. or you? No. Oh, good. I actually forgot to ask that. I wanted someone who hasn't done uh -huh. it. I hadn't seen your name before. So you've never done Recode before. So, so how it works is, is it's closed eyes. All you do is, is set the intent in your field that I'm able to, to work with you in the field. So you just set the intent. Um, you'll close your eyes. You'll set the intent because you are the super conscious. It's been listening the whole time we've been here. So it understands what to do. 
I'll use kinesiology and muscle testing to get the correct things to work on. Uh, okay. I'll be in your field with you and, and I'll, I'll set instructions. I'll say, hey, super conscious. I'll talk to you using the name super conscious so that, the, that I'm talking to the aspect of you that's unnamed, unable to be named and infinite. So I'll say, hey, super conscious, and I'll, I'll relate to it like and a bit of personification on, on the super conscious, but it's still you. <laughs> it's still you. It's not, uh, some people think, well, are you calling this thing a God? No, no, I'm talking to an aspect of you that's not the named part of you, the, the part of you okay. above that. Um, and that's it. That's it. So just before we go, out of 10, uh, how much do you feel like you're resisting, you know, this, you know, living your truth, uh, sharing it, uh, having this financial abundant business, all these things that you want. Um, out of 10. How, how 10 resistant? Like, yeah, 10 was like a blocked river, like you're not able to go oh. there. It's, and then if zero was like, an, uh, 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 so zero, 10 is blocked and zero is like, it's a torrent, torrent river just going for it. Where, where do you uh, think probably, you're? I think I, I'll go with a four or five. Yep. Okay. Four or five. Good. So it's uh, it's not completely blocked. It's kind of a trickle. Yeah. It's kind of just sort of meandering down. Not really get. Yeah. Yeah. That feels right. Okay. Um, please please close your eyes and and uh, and everyone will um. We'll have some fun in this. That's it. So just, uh, just close your eyes, breathe into your heart and set the intention, set the intention um, to connect to your field. And just give me permission. I give Chris Duncan permission to connect to my superconscious field for treatment today, increase satisfaction and to decrease pain. And all you need to just uh, is I give permission. So just in your heart. I give permission to Chris. Yes, in my you. heart. Thank you. Perfect. I can feel it. Okay. So you just, you stay there and super conscious. Are you there? Yep. Great. <laughs> oh, wow. This is fun. Super conscious. Do you see the end result we're wanting to create? Okay, there's a there's a metaphor in in this field uh, that's related to to Egypt and to to mystery schools. Yeah, superconscious, can you treat that and all events associated to that? Thank you. So just uh, notice notice what you notice, expect nothing. Just allow your eyes to stay closed. My eyes are closed and just, just experience it. Super conscious, there's events. Please find the original event causing this resistance in this timeline. Yeah. Okay, please treat that and do a massive change history as needed, thank you. I'll let that sit there. You stay with your eyes closed, let that go. So, so what I do when I'm doing the work, everyone, um, is, is I connect to the field and I use muscle testing, body testing to, to find what's there in the field. And then I, I give commands to allow, allow that uh, to, to be released. Superconscious, can we please talk to all parts causing conflict? Yeah. 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 So there's a part that is uh, in relationship with uh, masculine or father's energy. Yeah. Can you treat that part? Superconscious, can you treat that? Yeah. Please treat that part causing all the conflict and do a massive change history as needed. Thank you. Donna, you just stay present to that. So massive change history is a uh, command. Massive means large. We all understand what change means and we all understand history. Our memory is just a trail of our own thoughts throughout the past. So when we, when we share that command, that's not the only one that we use, 
but it's a very basic and obvious command to the aspect of you that created it all. This is not fixing, it's only in service of what we're creating. Does that make sense? It's in service of the creation. It's not searching out stuff. There's a decision, Donna, there's a decision in the field. I'm not allowed to just play uh, age 10, seven, it's six. It's present uh, between six and seven. It's not present before that. I'm not allowed to play. I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed. That's not, that's not good. That's not good to just have fun and play. That's not good. It's not allowed. Superconscious, can you treat this? No, we need to go back further. It goes through, um, it goes through family line. Um, just imagine yourself growing younger all the way back until you go back, 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 back. Age one, go back 12 months, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one month old, four weeks, three weeks, two weeks, one. And just reconnect with your mother in, inside the womb. That's it. There we go. Super conscious. Yeah. Please treat and do a massive change history and full superconscious recode on the allowance to play and have fun. And just please breathe through your mouth some big breaths just to really allow that down through the diaphragm. Please do a full muscle memory recode. Kind of just some Buddha breaths are needed. You can open your eyes if you need to. How are you feeling? Are you okay? Yes. What's present in the field is the, the lungs. They need to be they need to be used again. They need to be used again. It's all here. Superconscious, can you treat that? No, no, I'm getting a no on it. Ah. Oh yeah. It's just processing right now, Donna. So if you just stay in that and allow it to process, okay. So uh, who's ready to, uh, to enjoy a session by themselves in a second, hey? I know I've gone a little bit longer than, uh, than I thought, but I hope you guys are ready because Donna's field is just recoding itself now. It's all just, uh, all just trickling in, which is very cool. So Don, I want you to choose the end result of a life you love. I choose with your eyes closed. I choose that we're going to do the sentence procedure. Superconscious, please tag all resistance to these sentences. I'm good enough to lead this life the way I am. Superconscious, please tag and treat all active resistance to that statement. That's it. Nice. Superconscious, I can create this life I love. Please tag and treat and do a massive change history on that. That feels right. I will. I will do whatever it takes to create a life, this life I love. Superconscious, please treat all chakras, especially the throat chakra, and tell them the truth. Oh, I don't know if you like to sing. Do you see that metaphor, superconscious, the metaphor of singing? Please, please use it. Yeah. Step into the end result of having the life you love, doing it just the way you love it. You're teaching, you're inspiring, you're laughing, you're just having the best time. Ask yourself if there's any resistance left over.
super conscious, please acknowledge the fear of getting it wrong. Acknowledge the fear of getting it wrong. And I want you to bring it in and love it. Love it. There we go. And just love it. Love that it's part of every creation. Here it is. Superconscious, please recode and do a massive change history on everything as needed, including memories one, two, and three. Superconscious, unconscious, self-conscious, ego states, tandem memories, and all other aspects of consciousness. Please ground all the memories back into the matrix of reality and connect it back as it is. Taking some big breaths. And uh, when you're ready, you can come on back. All right, everyone. So, I want. All right, here she is. Okay, so first, Rico, <laughs> how are you feeling? Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh, would you do you have anything to share with the group about how your first session was? What was present? What what it felt like, or, or anything like that? Well, it would, I, I didn't have fear as I went through it. Um, I got to one area when you were moving back with the energy into mother's womb. And I thought, that's kind of interesting. She's, I've had real issues with her. <laughs> um, and I thought, yeah, probably did go all the way back there. But, um, you know, I can't obviously come up with that now. But um the the thing with the the chest i wasn't i wasn't real sure what that was supposed to be about the expansion within the the chest or i wasn't breathing right i just don't have any understanding of that and um and then when you talked about the fear issues at the, and then said everything has fear and I thought, yeah, I guess it would. It's that duality in one sense, that if you're going straight forward, that little trickle of fear could be part of almost everything. And I thought, well, that's good. That got recoded. That was nice. Um, yeah, it's kind of like having taken a bath <laughs> in the recoding. It was good. <laughs> and I so thank you. Uh, you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> it's a... It was a, it was abs it's an absolute pleasure doing this work. It's my favorite thing to do in the world. So thank you. Thank you for being a great uh, example and demonstration. I'll, uh, I'll pop you back into the, the audience. Uh, and with love, thank you. You served us all very, very well. So thank you very much. to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye, 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 bye. I hope you love that. If you're interested in having a one-on-one -on -one recode with one of my trained coaches, there is a link below. If you're interested in learning how to do the recode yourself, you can also join me on a group session and learn more about it. I highly recommend that you have a session and that you have open-minded skepticism. You don't have to believe anything I've said, but give it a go because what if what if you were able to remove your limitations? Wouldn't it be worth giving it a shot? So click below, follow your curiosity and see where it ends up. I love you so much. Thanks for watching this. Hopefully I get to talk to you soon.